the people of the cross. We are the people of the we cross. choose Christ and count all else as loss. We are the people of the cross. Good morning. This is Pastor Michael Scott from People of the Cross Church, located in Los Benos, right in the same center that Baskin Robbins is. We're just across the parking lot. We would like to welcome you to come down and visit us sometime at church and hear God's word and worship and fellowship with other Christians. You are welcome at any time. This morning, I'm going to go to a subject that is very well known that anybody that's heard anything about God has heard this. And it's simply John 3, 16 and 17. I believe it's important sometimes we go over something and we hear it so many times it just kind of passes over. But I'd like you to take a moment this morning to search your heart and understand and listen to what's being said. Because in John 3, 16, it says, For God, God himself, God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. You know he gave his son freely, freely, and his son went freely. It says, Give him up to the cross for that what is took to redeem humanity. He came to this earth for your salvation. It says to whosoever, means anybody, whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but they will have everlasting life. I like this next verse just equally as important or maybe more important. You need to understand exactly what Jesus Christ did. What God did when he sent his son back here. It says, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. So many people out in the world don't understand a, a Christian and the theology to where they're coming from. God did not come here to condemn you. He did not come here to tell you what you do and what you don't do. He came here to save your life and give you an eternity in heaven with the father and with the son. And with the Holy Spirit. So for God sent his, not his son into the world to condemn the world. But the world through him. Through Jesus Christ. Might be saved. The might part here. I would love to say. Shall be saved. But it is your opportunity. God will never make anyone serve him. Or accept him to be the, the Lord and commander of their life the chief of their life, or the general that's running their life. God gave freely. He also asked you to come freely. But I believe if you will stop a moment and think upon the words of God, that he gave his only begotten son. There could be nothing more precious. I can't imagine having to give up one of my children or one of my sons for the humanity of the world. But Jesus Christ did not hesitate to come down to the earth for 33 and a half years, came through a Virgin Mary, and was raised by a carpenter and his wife of mediocre means. They were not wealthy. They were not rich. He worked for a living. And Jesus was born in, in a type of a manger. He did not come in this world as a wealthy person. He did not leave this world as a wealthy person. But he left us a wealth of things that we have that we can follow if we serve him. And we will be the richest people in the world because as a Christian, we have guaranteed eternal life and salvation in heaven with God the Father. I can't think of a better thing or better place I'd rather be or something, someone I'd rather follow than Jesus Christ. It makes my life so much more easier to understand when things and trials come that I have the love of God, that he goes before me after I've received him and just said yes to him and, and said, I want to follow you, Jesus. And you need to understand something there. It is a very, very, very simple way to do that. We simply, all we have to say is Heavenly Father, forgive me. We confess it with our mouth, but we hear it and talk from our hearts. He knows our hearts before we ever even speak. God knows your very thoughts. So it's a simple task. It's very easily 
And then it becomes, are you following after Jesus Christ and being able to say, I am a Christian. I am saved. I am on my way to heaven. I've been saved. I'm sanctified through Jesus Christ. I now am righteous through Jesus only, not through myself. And the will of God be done. My life will be changed. And just that simple, your life is changed. Just ask God for forgiveness and speak it with your mouth. And to know that when trials come along, that I have God Almighty walking by my side and being with me. I spoke a little bit of that yesterday, but I, I need to keep expressing it so you understand that the goodness of Jesus Christ, he wants you to have a peaceful walk with him. He wants you to understand the true meaning of love. The true meaning of love is not just L-O-V-E, but it is we share our life. We share what God has done for us. And we share that Jesus Christ has wisdom above all people that he feeds us through his word that we can read and learn. But when, by saying that we are saved means that we can have peace. We can have love. God is there for us all the time. There's not a minute of a day that he's not work, walking and holding your hands. So again, from the, the desk of the pastor, Michael Scott of People of the Cross. We want to invite you to come down and tune in with us each day. And we're only going to be six to eight minutes and just giving you a little word to give you out there so you have something to, so to speak, chew on for the day and thoughts to give you for the day that reminds you that Jesus already paid the price. It is important to know that we don't have to pay anything. It's important to know that God already paid it all, that we do not have to sacrifice in the way that he sacrificed. He has a plan for you. He has something for you to give back into the world and flourish as a tree and as a fruit and give fruit out to others about you because you can reach people that I can't touch. You know people that I don't know. Therefore, that's how God gets his words out to the whole world all the time. God bless you. Have a great day. Tune in tomorrow again to see us. Good day. We are the people of the cross. We are the people of the cross. We choose Christ and count all else as lost. We are the people of the cross. We